Is it possible that even if Emmett Till existed, maybe he did sexually assault that white woman? I don't know. But so what about Emmett Till, if you ask me? Mm. He said it. This old mofo done said it. I don't know what all I can and can't I say because I don't want to get in trouble on YouTube. But boy, you done got me hot. Chaotic truth, brother. You, you supposed to have been a history teacher? You can't, you cannot have been, been a history teacher. The man, well, I don't know who taught you history or what college you done learned history from for you to come on here and say, maybe Emmett Till wasn't real or maybe what if he was real? He might have did. Bro, have you not done your history check on the 1955? What happened in 1955? Hey, did you do the, the recent 2007 when she was making a book and she admitted, you know what I'm saying, that she lied back in the day? Nigga, did you did you see that, that? Did you know that his parents, Emmett Till parents, had an open casket so they can come and see what them white people did to him brutally? Did you not know that white boys that did that to him got off on murder on that all white jury? And one of them even wanted to, but they was pressured to uh, say not guilty, fear for their life. Nigga, you we saying all this is made up. I can see if you went back to like 1500, 1575, 16. 18 something like that but way back then and say oh we ain't really got too much uh, proof etc etc yeah hey, what if this that i see you going back that far but you you ain't about to sit here and do this and then you you went on about some other stuff about some white people being hung and that was a lie so man y'all y'all check this video out right here man because i'm about to break this whole shit down because this 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 dude right here i'm betting my my last dollars that you from ohio right it's a lot of africans in ohio i'm betting that your parents is from africa you they don't have no parts of slavery at all you just like you the first generation in america growing up in this new society that black people slaves built africans and don't call us no negroes Stop calling us Negroes. A lot of us don't like to be called Negroes either. If you're going to uh, address us, address us as African Americans, boy. That's what you're going to address us as. You ain't got no right to call nobody no Negro. Watch your mouth. For real. That shit is offensive to a lot of us. On everything, especially the stuff that then came out your mouth, boy. You 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 didn't you didn't lost your mind, man. You lost your mind for real. But listen, don't don't hear it from me. Y'all just check this video out and hear it from him. One hundred. All right, go go, CT. Well, I hate to burst people's bubble. Um, I've grown up in America all my life. I've been around a lot of Negroes. I've been around my best friend is a female. Um, and she's married, by the way. She has a family of damn near 200 people. At the drop of the hat, if something were to happen to her, it'd be 50 Negroes at her house. This has always been the case in the black community, especially back in the day. Negroes were breeding like damn farm animals back in the day. How many times you heard Negroes say, oh, my great grandfather was a sharecropper and, and he had about 50 kids. I hear that all the time. I heard that all the time growing up. I still hear it now. Black men have served in this military in all branches. There are black people right now in every major city who are the goddamn police chiefs. There are black people who have been police officers for over 100 plus years. There are black people who have been firefighters, etc. Black men have always protected the community and black women. You mentioned Emmett Till. We don't even really know if Emmett Till exists. The people, who, the people who are writing these books and these scripts, see, the best way to enslave somebody is mental slavery. Is it ironic? Right after Emmett Till, the civil rights movement happened. Maybe the Emmett Till thing was some sort of hoax to get that moving. You mean to tell so me the body was fake? You're saying in the casket? Th there's no such thing as cadaver bodies. The, for all so we you're know, you're disputing that actually. I'm asking, you're disputing that even happened. I don't think slavery happened the way that it's been portrayed. Oh. The only way we know about slavery is through books and movies. I think that a, a large part of slave, large parts of slavery, may be over exaggerated to keep Negroes in a victim mind, oppression mind, and slave mentality. So you're telling me about what happened with Emmett Till. What about all the black men that have been killed because of what black women have done? I, I've worked in the courts. I was a probation officer. I'll even name the damn court system. I worked for Cuyahoga County community. I'm sorry, community for the adult probation at Cuyahoga County Common Police Court. I've seen all types of stuff dealing with black men and black women. 
black women have literally me to black men for hundreds of years. You telling me about one or two cases. Well, they used to hang black people. Well, maybe they were hanging criminals back then. It's funny that, you know, we're brainwashed to believe that black people were just goddamn angels back in 1900. Maybe a lot of these black communities had George Floyd's and maybe whites and blacks hung the dumb niggas. And it wasn't even that lot. It wasn't even a, a lot of people even being hung back then either on both sides. And by the way, the largest hanging in one day was white Italian men. It was about 15 of them hung in one day. Criminals were hung. Is it possible that even if Emmett Till existed, maybe he did sexually assault that white woman? I don't know. But so what about Emmett Till? If you ask me. Mm, thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to tell you, I, I almost had to, I had to get them spirits off me. Boy, I got, I got attitude problems. Boy, I got PTSD too. I got, I got, man, yeah, it's a lot wrong with me. Boy, I, you say some stuff like that, I, I might flash and just uh, smack the taste out your mouth. Yeah, open hand, just smack you. Uh, smack, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I apologize, sir. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to smack, smack you, sir. I, you said something crazy and something ignorant. I didn't understand it, man. You know what I'm saying? But, like, y'all gotta understand, this guy, chaotic truth, man. That's all jokes out, man. Listen, chaotic truth, man. You, you was a you was a teacher, you said, a history teacher. You worked as a probation officer. And uh, I don't know what you do now, but you, you're you dangerous for our community, bro. Right? And I, I'm gonna explain why this man is dangerous for our community. For one, he seems like the one, and I bet they have some students that can contest it, is, he seemed like the one st the teacher that's at the school that uh, probably tell the police or try to get these kids in trouble or try to get them locked up. Then, as a probation officer, he seemed like, hey, he the one that'd be letting these white kids go off, a black dude letting these white kids go off on, hey man, you're, it's okay, it's white, white kid, and then be hard on the black kids, making it hard for them and helping the system, the same stuff the white people do to us in the system, he'll be the one helping them on the front line, man, a black dude. And that's why I say you're dangerous because white people are using um, black people to do their dirty bidding now. You know what I'm saying? Like the stuff they used to do back to the, back in the day and all the way leading up to this now, you know, uh, um, getting this ran through in the system, um, um, fucking us in the system, like tearing up our record, you know, giving us harsh time, making everything hard for us, not giving us opportunities, bro. You the one that does that, bro. I can see you at the school making it, not teaching these kids, but making these kids life harder, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and let's run it back to what, what you said about white people being, uh, has, uh, the white Italian men was the most that got hung in one day. Let's let's replay that back because you you a history teacher, right? So you 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 speaking on that that saying that that is a fact when it's actually a lie. So let's let's hear him what he said. What you say again? Say that shit. And by the way, the largest hanging in one day was white Italian men. It was about fifteen of them hung in one day. Mm. Now y'all seen what the man said, bro? That that's a lie, bro. The 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 Dakota, Dakota tribe. Out there, up there in Minnesota, South Dakota, Sioux, the Sixth Tribe, or Sioux Tribe, whatever the how they ever they, they pronounce it, S O I X, or whatever how they pronounce it, bro. That was the most hanging in one day, where the Indians and some and some black people were hanging in one day. It was I think it was like thirty eight people, thirty eight, thirty nine, something like that, man. Y'all look it up. I will pull it up, put it on the screen. Thirty eight, thirty nine people. Mur hung in one day. That's the biggest hanging. Not no white folks, man. So what white school, what white ideology people done told you this type of mess that got you believing that white folks was the who got hung the most in one day. Man, black people was getting hung out throughout this whole country. And the thing about it is, it's a lot of them that wasn't even documented. Just imagine, man, um, black people across the South being hung on the same day and you never knew about it. Man, all this, it's so many numbers that, that ain't contested, that ain't even up there to be contested for, bro. And the, even with the numbers that are recorded and said, bro, you still wrong. Ain't no white people was, got, got hugged the most, man. Who done taught you this type of stuff? And you the one teaching these kids history. You te you are, you are, in, you was in charge of teaching kids history, black kids at that, bro. And you out here telling them stuff like this. You the type of people that, that want us to grow up and uh, be raised as white and have a white ideology bro that's that, that's just not gonna happen man we got to do it our own way we was doing it right back in the day bro 
the first 50 years. But guess what? The white people came and destroyed that. They shut it down. They murdered us. They burnt our stuff down, bro. They didn't want us to do it right. And then they put into play with psychology and they taking the fathers out the household, leading us to the situation we are in now, man. Meaning with a lot of kids fatherless, a lot of women having to raise these kids, social media taking over to uh, be an influence of these kids, the church not being influenced, these kids running off doing all salad, you know what I'm saying, everything up under the bus, man, over here being statistics out the ass, bro. That has to do with white supremacy and be, what's happening. Not people being victimized and playing the card about slavery, bro. That stuff is true. And for you to come out your mouth and sit here and say Emmett Till wasn't true, bro, you done lost your mind. You done lost your mind, bro. That shit is real as it get. That stuff is not fake. That stuff is real as it get. Just like the Rosa Parks, just like the Martin Luther King, just like the uh, uh, Malcolm X. All that stuff is real, bro. Even with the Malcolm X, how the white people conspired, the FBI conspired with the white uh, black people to murder this man and then let the man go, knowing they was outside watching the whole thing. That's all. That's all in cahoots, brother. What are you tripping on, man? I, I can't believe I, I'm mad that I wasn't on these panel, man. You see all the women. They old girl had the drink. She had to. She poured all her wine in the bottle. Let me just. I got a drink to this shit. Cause bro, you over here saying some nonsense, man. You over here saying some nonsense. I wish I was on the panel because I wouldn't let that shit slide, bro. You, you need to watch your mouth, man. You can tell you wasn't you wasn't raised in the uh, by black people from back in the day, bro. You you had your parents got to be from Africa. They got to be from Africa, bro. You, you got to be the first generation over here. And I'm just standing, I'm standing on that because that's what I believe, bro. And, and see, man, God don't like ugly, man. And you, you just because you think you black, you can get away with saying a lot of stuff, bro. But we need to start, you know what I'm saying? I hope to the, uh, we need everybody to put in the boat, man, and say, ah, you know what I'm saying, if they agree. So we can't allow black people that's not part of this culture to sit here and say the word, uh, the N word. Or a Negro, or whatever they got, y'all stay with y'all stuff and stay respectful, just like the white man. We're gonna start treating y'all just like the white man. That's what we gonna start doing, man. For real, watch him out. So, but like I said, man, it's your boy Twenty Seven Hundred, y'all. That's all I gotta say because I don't want to go off and say the wrong thing, man. On here, man, and get in trouble. But man, that's all I gotta say, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. If y'all did it already, hit that like, man. Share the video, man. But uh, like I said, man, I'm gone, y'all. Damn. Damn. I was that. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Ooh, shit. You're cool, you do it. <laughs> I'm not doing the problem. Welcome.